2022 is very nearly upon us. So it's now time to start thinking about your business technology for next year so you can hit the ground running and make 2022 your best year yet. In this video, I'm gonna give you my five recommendations of how to set up your business IT for next year. If you're new here, my name is Jonathan Edwards and I own an IT support company called Integral IT, which are based in Yorkshire in the UK. We help businesses all over the country with their IT support and their cyber security. It's really hard to believe that 2022 is just around the corner. What a year this has been. Now I'm filming this video in September, so now is a great time to start thinking about your business for next year. That's your business planning, your business goals, and of course your budgets. One of the most fundamental parts of any business is its technology. So that's why I've decided to make this video. I'm gonna give you my five recommendations and these recommendations are pretty universal. Every business should be looking at each of them recommendations and aiming to implement them in their business. So when I say best, I mean most secure, most cost effective and most flexible. Sound pretty good? Let's get started. The first thing that your business needs to budget for next year is to buy new desktops or new laptops. I made a video a couple of weeks ago telling everybody that Microsoft is releasing a new operating system next year. It's called Windows 11. So if your business has got old computers, old laptops, and your team members are getting frustrated, then 2022 might be a good time to buy new computers with Windows 11 installed. Now you can't underestimate the positive impact new computers will have on your team and their productivity. Now what I see a lot of small businesses doing is replacing computers as and when they need to. So what they end up with is a hodgepodge of different devices. You might have some old ones, some new ones, a Dell, a Lenovo, this size, that size. It's a real mix. Well, my recommendation is that you should be buying hardware using a hardware lease. That means you can replace all your computers and other bits of hardware and just pay a low monthly fee every month for three years. And when the three years is up, you could consider doing the same again and refreshing them. This is great for cash flow and it's a much efficient way of buying computer hardware. So Windows 11, new kit, that's my first recommendation. So has your business moved to Microsoft 365? If you have, fantastic. But I know a lot of businesses that still haven't moved to Microsoft 365. I also know a lot of businesses who have moved some aspects to 365, but aren't utilizing the full suite. So just as a reminder of the core functions of Microsoft 365. Firstly, you get a really good email system, which is based in the cloud. Secondly, you can move all your files and folders to SharePoint. So if you've got your files and folders on a server in the office, you can move them to the cloud. And also, depending on the license of Microsoft 365, you'll get an up-to-date copy of Microsoft Office. So you're always running the most recent software. So if you've got servers in your office running files and folders, 2022 has to be the time where you get rid of those, move all your data into 365. This will improve security and it'll make your business much more efficient. So my final comment on Microsoft 365. Do you remember my first tip about replacing all your devices in your business with Windows 11? Well, wouldn't it be great if you could buy a new laptop for your business, you could take it out of its box, switch it on, enter your username and your password, and all the applications that you use in your business would automatically install and configure for you. Well, that is another feature of Microsoft 365. So make sure that you're using Microsoft 365 to its fullest potential in 2022. My next recommendation for you to have the best IT in 2022 is to embrace and fully implement Microsoft Teams within your business. Now, Microsoft Teams comes as part of your Microsoft 365 license. So if you're using 365, you're 
already paying for it. Now, of all the businesses that I see, some businesses are not using it at all, and some businesses are only using a very small part of it. So you've got to fully embrace it in 2022 because it can become a real enabler for your business. So what is Microsoft Teams? Well, it's quite a lot of things. Firstly, it's a video conferencing solution. So if you're using something like Zoom, you get that functionality within Microsoft Teams. In this day and age, when a lot of people are working from home or remotely, video conferencing is a really important part of your technology. It's a must have. Microsoft Teams can also become your fully functional telephone system. So this is quite a new thing added over the last 12 months. If you've got a clunky telephone system which is based in your office and now your team are all working from home, we well can get rid of that telephone system and you can move it to Microsoft Teams. You can keep your same phone number so you can port them over to Microsoft Teams and if you like you can even get physical Teams phones but a lot of people just use a headset. So you might want to consider Microsoft Teams as your telephone system. You can also integrate your favorite applications into Microsoft Teams. For example, if you use HubSpot for CRM, there's an integration into Microsoft Teams. So these applications can talk to each other and often you get one pane of glass where you're seeing everything. But at the very heart of Microsoft Teams is a function called Teams. So what is a team? Well, according to Microsoft, a team is a collection of people, content and tools that produce a business outcome for your company. Hmm. So let's have a look at an example of what a team might be. So you might have a team in your business called marketing. So everybody who is responsible for marketing in your business will be able to see and collaborate within the marketing team. Within Teams, you also have channels, so you can break things down a little bit more. So continuing with our marketing example, you might have a channel called social media, one called video marketing, and another one called cold calling. So each channel becomes its own separate collaboration space. So again, if we think about the video marketing channel, you can have conversations in that channel with team members and external people about your various video marketing activities. You can also add different functions to the channel. So you could add a calendar, for example, which would give you all the videos that you plan to release. You can add some file storage to the channel. So all the scripts and everything that you need for these videos are on hand and you can add things like to-do lists. Teams is very much a blank canvas and I think sometimes that puts people off, it intimidates people. People think, well, where do I start with this? But 2022 has to be the year that you fully embrace Microsoft Teams. It'll save you money, it'll make you more efficient. My next recommendation for the best IT for 2022 is to move any applications that you may use to the cloud. So you might be a law firm, you might be an accountant, and you might still need servers in your office to run various applications. We know a lot of businesses who still do this. Well, the good news is you don't need to run servers inside of your office anymore. Even if you still use an application that needs to sit on a server, why not put that application on a server inside of the cloud? So you could use something like Microsoft Azure. So effectively, you are renting computing power and you're only renting the computing power that your business needs. This will be a monthly cost. There'll be no capital outlay. So it's a much more secure and efficient way to run your business in 2022. So if you're watching this video and you've got any servers in your office, it's time for them to leave. My final recommendation for the best business IT in 2022 is to double down on your cyber security. If you only take note of one of my recommendations after watching this video, this has to be the one. Now, I'm sure you've heard all the stats, but the truth is businesses in the UK and all around the world have never faced a more aggressive or relentless onslaught in cyber attacks which are resulting in significant financial and reputational damage to small businesses. Just before I created this video, I read a stat that in the last 12 months, 92% of UK businesses have suffered some form of cyber attack. 
And out of those, 40% of them have lost over £50,000. These stats are staggering, so it really is time to sit up and take notice of cybercrime. So what do you need to do? Well, if you're a regular watcher of my channel, I often publish videos on various tactics of how you can defeat these cyber criminals. But to finish this video off, I'm gonna finish my six top tips on how you can make your business more secure in 2022. Firstly, do an audit of all the business applications that you use, and if possible, enable two-factor authentication. Second tip is to make sure you've got a robust backup in place for all of your business data. That means any data you store on servers in your office or in Microsoft 365. My third tip is to make sure that you use robust antivirus software and make sure that it's ransomware aware. So make sure that it can spot and defeat ransomware. My fourth tip is to make sure that all your devices in your business always have the most up-to-date updates installed. And my fifth tip is to make sure that you train your team so they are cyber aware, so they've got the tools they need to defeat cybercrime. So there you have it. There are my, all my recommendations for you to set up your business in 2022 and get the most from your technology.